Um, hello, um, thanks to all my new subscribers recently. Um, thanks for subscribing and for sticking around for more than one video. Um, my deepest apologies if you joined because you're interested in Soviet calculators and then I start talking about IBM portables or you're interested in the Mega 65 and I started talking about Amstrads. Um, I tend to jump all over the place. Uh, whatever I thought, I think might be of interest uh so to date like mini discs on well, mini discs interest me i've got digital compact cassette um unit there that i need to fix i'll be i've got a video half done about that but um this is an amazon ring it's kind of never worked um <laughs> <don't worry. laughs> so you know you, you plug it in and nothing there's no flashing blue lights it's completely dead so i don't know if something obvious i thought well sod it i might as well pull it apart and see what's inside so that's the reason for the video so let me so i've got all this it's got all this um barcode and stuff on the back so i kind of want to get rid of that first i want to flash that and then some clever some clever dick decides to add it to there uh doorbell and we get rings at bloody two in the morning um so let me just sort that out and i'll be back okay i filled it off i didn't know what was behind it so it looks like we've got some clips or something but yeah so it looks like to be two phillips heads to start with Okay. There we go. Match those two off. Um, where do we go here? Where do we go now? Never pull. I've not looked at any of it, so I've no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just, just feeling around not really using a knife safely so like i said i've tried everything and it just doesn't work it's just simply completely completely dead so let me fiddle around with this a bit and um see how we can take this off okay maybe i'm making some progress maybe Something still stuck. Nothing on the front. Don't stab your hand, Brett. That is a pretty tight fit down there. Hmm. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh. That kind of, I have the impression that once this comes off, this is not going back together again. No user serviceable parts. Say the very simple power supply. So my first thought is, okay, there's some issue with the power supply, um, and that's simply why all that fancy stuff in there ain't working. Uh, what's the easiest way? What's the easiest way to do this? Okay, there's a couple more. Let's see, there's some more screws in there. If I unscrew those, that might come out. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me have a think, because I do want to try and power it. Power it back on, well, connect it to the mains, and then just see what's coming out of here. 
if there is anything. All right, let me figure this out. Okay. Problem is, it's all all very well, nicely held up with all this gunk, so I can't really stick any probes in there. So I'm gonna have to pull that off. Okay, there's a lot more on there as well. Okay, all right. So there's where the rectification's done. I guess maybe this big diode thing there is the rectifier. Oh, bridge rectifier. Okay. So. DC voltage. Da da da. Okay. So big nasty mains coming in up the top. And then DC out is these two here. It's all looks very safe. Um, okay. Which is which? Grounds on the bottom. So those two there. Okay. Yeah, and don't, Brett, don't rest you. I can just see myself doing it. Yeah, let me just zap. All right. Um, don't put your finger there, Brett. Don't even come from the bottom. Come from the bottom. All right. Plug her in. Okay. Power is on. Keep my finger away from the mains. Uh, DC voltage. Mm, minus one volt. Not really pushing hard here. Nothing. So that explains it basically. The um, the AC to DC isn't working. So I could fix that. I assume that's just five volts coming out. Let me check the AC. We're really kind of, yep, 236, 240. All right, back to DC. Oh, okay, no, no, there we go, 4.8 volts. So I just wasn't touching it properly. Okay, so 4.8 volts. Assume that's enough. really getting anything am I there we go yeah 4.8 volts okay so it should be getting voltage to the board turn that off before I forget all right let's have a bit further look eh? so it's got lots of interesting Spots for headers and test points. Um, yeah. Jumpers. So we've got header one down here. We've got jumpers here. Jumper. Header two. Header three. Jumper four. So we've got the, that's the antenna, I guess, up the top there. Uh, is that Texas Instruments? Looks like a Texas Instruments chip. So I would say screw, screw, and then these two here unscrew. So let's get to it then. Okay, small screws, small screws. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell you what, this iFixit kit really comes in handy. Okay, 
You just pull it out, maybe. Okay. Oh, yep, speaker. All right, so that's the speaker connection there. Okay, that's the reset button. So I should probably disconnect the speaker. Oh, okay. Oh, some LEDs down. Okay, some LEDs down here that shine through the ring there. Very clever. Yeah, let me just, um, yeah, that speaker is um, kind of plastic welded in there. Let me uh, turn on the iron. Just desolder the speaker. Sure, why aren't you working? Mm -hmm. So I could get rid of this and then I could just add on just a USB. So I don't have to worry about electrocuting myself. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, B BDC and ground. Okay, so I'll just desolder those as well. Make life a bit simpler. Get rid of this. Disconnect that. Disconnect the antenna. Okay, let's desolder this other stuff. You don't need to see that, it's all pretty standard. I'll be back. Wow, this, <laughs> this solder is hard. I'm using the wrong tip. I should have been using a, um, a much bigger tip. Really taking a lot of heat. So I'm, I think it's just easy just to snip the cables, I think. Um, of course, the, the BCC or whatever is easier than ground because you've got the whole ground plane that's sucking up heat as well. Um, Come on. Yeah, that just pulled off. Okay, so this is what we're left with. So, it does look like Texas Instruments. What have you got on there? Where's my loop? Mm, can you see? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what am I doing? There we go. Uh, no idea what that is. System on a chip. Wind bond. Okay, look all that stuff up later. DAC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so why isn't this working then? What are those jumpers for? Switch. More space for four LEDs. Interesting. LED one, four, two, and three. Hmm. What happened if I added more LEDs there? There is a. Uh, looks like. Okay, I assume these are the resistors for them. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, out of, out of view. So it looks like these are the resistors for the LEDs, and yet resistor 12 and 10 are missing. So if I wanted to add those in, I'd have to just put a little, I don't know, 100 ohm or something, 300 ohm. Hmm. I should have a look online to see what, because I'm, I'm sure people have pulled these apart before. I'm just pulling it apart because it doesn't work. Um... Lots of test points. So I say, so I can hook up five volts, so I can run it safely. Um, I say nothing's happening at the moment, so 
hook up five volts and I don't know. I'm just curious what's on the, what comes out of these what these headers are for. A good trace, okay. So this header up here, header three goes down here, test point. Then oh, I don't know, somehow joins all this and there's another comes to a jumper here. I wonder what the jumpers are for. Okay, there's also test points there as well above the jumpers. Test point. So maybe something related to the to the headers. Hmm. Zero ring chime. Okay. What to do with this? Let's see what other people have done. I might do some research. Let's see what other people have done with these. I'm sure someone's done something. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, easy peasy. I figured out what header one was for. Figured out what uh, this header is. Gee, I wonder what it could be for. So, yeah, so it's alternate power. So I could stick a... I assume I could stick a header on there and that way I can just stick five volts in that way. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hmm. Yeah, so I think I'm just I'm just going to tidy the board up a bit more. But yeah, I think I'll do some research. Might might make things a bit more interesting if I know half of what I'm talking about. But like I say, these um, these jumpers down here. One of them at least is connected to header up here. I wonder what they're for. Hmm. Okay. Until um, next time. Hope that was of some slight interest.